Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing sequence and series and this is the lecture number 13. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 12 before watching this part 13. In this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss some problems related to geometric progression. So let us uh, start some problems from the miscellaneous exercise right now. Miscellaneous exercise and we are going to discuss from question number 8. The question number 8 says the sum of some terms of GP, the sum of some, the sum of some terms of GP, some terms of GP, some terms of GP is 315, is 315 whose first term and common ratio are whose first term and common ratio are and common ratio are 5 and 2 respectively respectively find the last term and the number of terms Find the last term and the number of terms and the number of terms. Number of terms. Find the last term and the number of terms. So we can write a start solution from here. Let A be the first term already given a first term and common ratio is 2. So GP is the given GP will be even GP will be will be first term 5 common ratio 2 so 5 10 20 40 like that right now 40 etc and their sum is according to question 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 40 up to n terms is 315 so we can sum up here that uh, age 5 so we can write 5 into r to the power that is 2 to the power n right now 2 to the power n minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 315 5 can cancel this 6 5 is 30 and 6 3 is 5 3 is 15 now 2 to the power n minus 1 is 63 because 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 to the power n is 64 and therefore 2 to the power n is 64 that is 2 to the power n is 2 to the power 6 and this employee n is equal to 6 <coughs> and last term t6 is equal to a r to the power 5 that is a is 5 and r is 2 so 2 to the power 5 is 32. So 5 plus into 5 into 135, 5 into 32 is equal to 160. So last term is, this is the last term, last term is 160 and number of terms is 6. So this is easy one, you can do that right now. Next question, I is given that question number 9 and question number 9, the sum of the first term of GP, the first term of GP, of GP is 1. It is given. The sum of third term and fifth term, the sum of third and fifth term, third and fifth term, the sum of third and fifth term, <coughs> age 90. Find the common ratio of GP. Find the common ratio of GP. Common ratio of GP. This is what you have to calculate. So as per uh, far as for solution, you can write the first term in GP is 1. The sum of third and T6 
solutions here can be written like solution what is that let a ar ar square be three numbers be three numbers of gp of gp right so their sum is 56 a plus ar plus ar square is 56 right now this is equation first now if 1 7 and 21 are subtracted they will be in ap so i can write a minus 1 ar minus 7 and ar square minus 21 if subtracted they are in ap are in ap so what will happen if they are in ap then twice of middle term A R minus seven is equal to first plus third, isn't it? In AP, this is the characteristic. So we can write here that two A R minus fourteen is equal to A plus A R square minus twenty two. And here we can write A plus A R square is fifty six minus A R minus twenty two, and this is two A R minus fourteen. So that will be A R will come this side. This will be three A R is equal to fifty six, and that will be plus fourteen. Fifty six plus fourteen is seventy, right now. Seventy minus twenty two is forty eight. So therefore, A R is equal to A R is equal to sixteen. Therefore, A R is sixteen. A R is sixteen, so here A can be written as sixteen by R, and therefore A is equal to sixteen by R. Now from first, from first, A plus A R plus A R square is fifty six. I can put A 
है कॉमन एंड वन प्लस आर प्लस आर स्क्वायर इज फिफ्टी सिक्स सो आई कैन पुट हेयर वैल्यू ऑफ ए दैट इज सिक्सटीन बाई आर इन टू वन प्लस आर प्लस आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स राइट ना सो एट टू जा सिक्सटीन एंड एट सेवन जा फिफ्टी सिक्स आर कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस साइड दैट विल बी टू प्लस नाउ देर फोर दिस विल बी टू प्लस टू आर प्लस टू आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सेवन आर एंड दैट विल बी टू आर स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव आर प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इम्प्लॉय टू आर स्क्वायर माइनस फोर आर माइनस आर प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इम्प्लॉय टू आर कैन बी टेक इन कॉमन एंड आर माइनस टू विल बी देर एंड इफ माइनस वन विल बी टेक इन कॉमन आर माइनस टू विल बी जीरो so what will happen r minus 2 if i take common r minus 2 then what will be that 2r minus 1 is equal to 0 so r is equal to 2 or r is equal to 1 by 2 and if i put when r is equal to 2 when r is equal to 2 a is 16 by r na so 16 by 2 that is 8 and uh, then numbers will be then numbers are first term is 8 8 and second r is 2 so 8 16 and 32 are three numbers three numbers right if you put r is equal to when r is equal to 1 by 2 then in that case a will be 16 upon 1 by 2 is 32 and in that case numbers are numbers are 32 16 and 8 that can be categorized like this so either three numbers are 8 16 and 32 or 32 16 and 8 this can be possible and that will be answer of this question now let us solve question number 11 and uh, it is given that a gp consist of consist of even number of terms even number of terms even number of terms a gp consists of even number of terms if the sum of all terms sum of all terms of gp is equal to 5 times of the sum of terms occupying at odd places odd places find common ratio find common ratio okay this is the question so how to deal with this question solution can be written as let a be the first term first term and r be the common ratio r be the common ratio right a be the first term and r be the common ratio so what will happen then a be the first term and r be the common ratio now uh, gp will be a ar ar square ar cube right up to ar to the power 2n minus 1 gp consists 2n term where total number of terms is 2n total number of terms is 2n that is 2n total number of terms is 2n now according to question the sum of all terms according to question according to question a plus ar plus ar square up to ar to the power 2n minus 1 is equal to 5 times of the sum occupying odd places ar4 up to n terms because why n terms because this series consists 2n terms this series must consist n terms because alternate terms are half of that are odd places half of that are even places so here we can write as per formula a into 
r to the power 2n minus 1 upon r minus 1. Here 5, common ratio will be r square. So here 5 times r square to the power n minus 1 upon r square minus 1. So the same thing can be written as 5 and here first term is also a. a r to the power n minus 1 upon so a and a can be cancelled out. Now this further can be written as, let me write here in the numerator, this can be written as r to the power 2n can be written as r to the power n plus 1 r to the power n minus 1 a square minus b square upon r minus 1. That can be also written as r to the power 2n minus 1. So no need to write this because it can be cancelled directly now. Here it will be also r square that is r to the power 2n minus 1. So we can do this r to the power 2n minus 1 upon r minus 1 is equal to 5 times of r to the power 2n minus 1 upon r square minus 1. This and this cancels out and r square minus 1 can be written as r minus 1 r plus 1 is equal to 5 times this will multiply this side r minus 1. So r minus 1 r minus 1 can be cancels r plus 1 is equal to 5 and r is equal to 4. r minus 1 cannot be equal to 0 because r is equal to 1 in that case it will remain in AP. It is not a perfect GP where the number of terms are different right now. So here r can be 4. Find the common ratio r can be 4. <coughs> I hope you got it right now. So that will be answer of this question. That will be answer of this question. Okay. Now the next question that I would like here question number 12 is there. The sum of first four terms of AP is 56. If the sum of last four terms is 112. If the first term is 11, find the number of terms that is n you have to calculate. So if first term is 11 and common difference is d, let d be the common difference. Let d be the common difference. So first four term, let d be the common difference of AP common difference of AP, common difference of an AP, then first according to question first term is 11, second term is 11 plus D, third term is 11 plus 2D and fourth term is 11 plus 3D and that is equal to 56. So that will be 44 plus 6D is equal to 56. 6d is equal to 12 and therefore d is equal to 2. Last four term of GP APR, last four term of APR, last four terms, four terms of APR, APR L, L minus D, L minus 2d, L minus 3d where L is last term, where L is last term, right. So according to question, the sum of last four term L, L minus D, L minus 2D, L minus 3D is equal to 112. That is 4L minus 6D is equal to 112. Since D is 2, so 4L minus 6 into 2, that is 112. 4L is equal to 124. 12 will come this side and therefore L is 31. So last term is 31 and we have to find the number of terms. So for number of terms, last term is nothing else but A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to 31. A is already uh, given. What was A? a was 11 and plus n minus 1 d is 2 is equal to 31. So n minus 1 into 2 is equal to 20. 11 will come this side it will subtract and n minus 1 is equal to 10. n is equal to 11. That will be answer of this question. I hope you got it right now. 
so these are few questions that you can solve easily there is no problem now let us solve some questions and that more some more questions are there that is 13 question number if it is written that a plus bx upon a minus bx is equal to b plus cx upon b minus cx is equal to c plus bx upon c minus dx and x is not equal to 0 then so that a b c d are in gp then show that a, B, C, D are in G, are in G, P, right? So solution can be taken as uh, A minus B, X, say A plus B, X upon A minus B, X is equal to K, say. Then by using component row and dividend row, A by B, X is equal to, what is that? K plus 1 upon K minus 1, right now? So that will be x is equal to what will be a by b? a by b is nothing else but a by b or b by a here it will be b by a is equal to b by a is equal to reciprocal k minus 1 upon k plus 1 into x, isn't it? Similarly, if b plus cx Similarly, similarly, b plus cx and b minus cx will be also equal to k because these two are equal. Here, yeah, right, let this employee. Uh, similarly, if you do that, then c by b is equal to k minus 1 upon k plus 1 into x and also, and also, also c by dx upon c minus dx is equal to k this employee d by c is also equal to k minus 1 upon k plus 1 into x so here we can say therefore b by a is equal to c by b is equal to d by c ratio of two consecutive terms are equal and that is equal to k minus 1 upon k plus 1 into x so this can be described as common ratio and since the ratio of two consecutive terms are same therefore sequence are in ap since b by a is equal to c by b is equal to d by c and therefore a b c d are in gp and that will be answer of this question that will be solution of this question so i hope you got it Let's solve one more question that is very interesting one and important one also. It is given that question number 14. If S denotes the sum of first n terms of n terms of GP and R be the sum of a reciprocal of reciprocal of n terms of gp n terms of gp if p be the product of p be the product of first n terms first n terms of gp of gp then prove that prove that P square is equal to S by R to the power N or P square R to the power N is equal to S to the power N. You can prove any one of them. Right? So how to deal with this question? Let first term is solution can be written. Let first term of GP first term of GP be A and r with the common ratio is r right a smaller then sum of first n terms sum of first then gp will be then gp will be a ar ar square arq like this ar to the power n minus 
S denote the sum of first n terms. So we can write here that S is equal to A plus AR plus AR square up to AR to the power n minus 1 that is A into R to the power n minus 1 upon R minus 1 this is first. R is sum of their reciprocal so 1 by A plus 1 by AR plus 1 by AR square plus 1 by A R to the power n minus 1. This will be also in GP but here first term is 1 by A and R is 1 by R to the power n upon 1 minus 1 by R right. So you can have like this. This will be like this. So it can be uh, simplified in this way that it will be 1 by a r to the power n minus 1 upon r to the power n and that will be r minus 1 upon r. So that will be 1 by a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 into 1 upon r to the power n minus 1 because this power will subtract here minus 1 like this. This is just 2. So if I will do that s by r what will happen? So s by r is equal to s is a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 and r is nothing else but 1 by a and r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 into 1 upon r to the power n minus 1. So these two are cancels out and a will come in numerator it will be a square and r to the power n minus 1. Therefore s by r to the power n will be a square r to the power n minus 1 whole to the power n that will be a to the power 2n r to the power n into n minus 1. This is the third one, third equation. Now since P is product, P is product, so P is equal to A into AR into AR square into AR cube into AR to the power n minus 1. That will be A to the power n, R to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1. So that will be n minus 1 into n by 2. Now P square is equal to a to the power n r to the power n into n minus 1 by 2 whole to the power n whole to the power 2 that will be a to the power 2n and r to the power n into n minus 1 because 2 2 cancels out and from third this is equal to s by r to the power n this is the proof from using from 3 you know so this will be proof of this question and uh, that will be uh, I think uh, more than enough in this class and uh, uh, we will discuss something else in the next class edge. till then bye bye god bless and if you haven't subscribed this channel yet please uh, subscribe this and share among your friends also and press the bell icon to get a regular update also thank you thank you very much god bless